Hi everyone! I'm here today with a book review. This is the first book review on my channel and the book that I'm going to review today is Tom's Midnight Garden by Philippa Pears. Now considering this is my first review ever, please don't judge me too much. I feel like I have already explained the plot of this book so many times but considering it's a review I need to do it again. So this book is about a boy who is going to his aunt's and uncle's house for summer and he's expecting very very boring time he doesn't really want to go there but he has to because his brother is ill but on one of the nights he can't really sleep he's trying to fall asleep but he just can't and suddenly he hears the clock the grandfather's clock chiming 11 12 13 now he goes downstairs trying to find out why that happened he's trying to find number 13 on the clock but instead he follows the moonlight and suddenly he sees the garden which during the daylight doesn't exist that's why he was surprised and he thought that everyone lied to him they they hidden that they hid the garden from him but it just really doesn't exist during the daylight and no one really knows about the garden anyway. Also on the back of the book it says that the garden is full of magic, adventure, maybe ghosts or the Tom is the ghost. You will find out only when you read the book because I'm not going to explain it. I think it's considered to be a modern classics, children's classics because it was firstly it was published in 1958 um, and this edition is was published in 2015 by Oxford University Press. It only has 227 pages, not very long, and the font is not small, not big, just perfect. And it also has very high, quite high ratings on Goodreads. The book is set in chapters, and before each chapter there is also always a picture. All the pictures on black and white in this edition. I don't know about any other or any other editions. So um, I wouldn't say they are the prettiest pictures ever, but kind of old style pictures. So that's nice. I also really like the cover of this book. This cover kind of gives you an idea that this book is going to be very magical, very mysterious, very interesting maybe magical like sort of dark story but it's not it really isn't well this picture this cover really kind of true for the book it's not like it's um deceiving or something like that it really is what it is just the garden at night, which is basically what this book is about. Yes, this book starts very mysteriously. Uh, when he discovers the garden, you expect something out of the blue or something sort of creepy and maybe scary or something, something like that. I can't really explain it because that's what I was expecting from this book and I didn't get it to be honest, but okay. That's okay. Some of the chapters describe um, Tom's life in his uncle and uncle, in his aunt's and uncle's house, what's happening during the day and things like that. And some of the chapters are set in the garden, what's happening at night, what adventures, what adventures Tom goes on at night. The writing style. I would say that this book is cozy, nice read. Many children would like it, many adults would like it, I think. You can easily read it before going to bed because it calms you down, it makes you feel comfortable. And all, but also in this book, sometimes there were, there weren't really mistakes, but some of the water orders could be like the other way around and it confused me. I don't really know why it happened, but I was a little confused while I was reading the book. Maybe it's just my thing or something? I don't know. Now let's talk about the main character. 
Tom is a very curious boy. He's observing the garden. He's he goes there every single night because he's really curious. He likes the garden. And also in his letters to his brother, he describes every single thing that happened to him at night in the garden. Sometimes he tells his aunt and uncle about the garden and when they don't believe him, he starts arguing with them. But then at some point he also regrets arguing with them because he's scared that they might find out about the garden and he will somehow lose it. He was also trying to see if they knew about the garden. After some time, he doesn't really want to leave their house because he doesn't want to leave the garden. He wants to stay there. Speaking about the garden, he probably, ex um, I expected something different there, to be honest. I can't really explain it much to you because it will be a spoiler. But yeah, it just, it's just not what I thought it would be. Let's just simply put it that way. So I was a little bit disappointed with this garden, but this book mostly focuses on friendship, I would say. Although sometimes I couldn't understand this friendship because Tom didn't really notice very major changes in someone, but probably the message of the story is that the friendship doesn't change no matter what. I still found it a little bit strange because there were really major changes and he didn't notice them. That's just weird. So overall, I, I enjoyed this book. I give it three stars. It wasn't something outstanding for me, to be honest. I don't know if I will reread this book at some point or not. But like I said in my previous video, it might be better to read this book slowly each night before going to bed you might enjoy it a lot more than I did because it was probably the wrong time for me to read it. So if you want to, you can give it a go and I think you will enjoy it. I'd say it's quite a comfortable read anyway. So if you're looking for something comfortable, maybe you should give this book a go. I don't know. So that was my review. Let me know in the comments below if you've read this book, what you thought of it, or if you're going to read this book. Thank you for watching. Bye.